Welcome back outside the shrine, right in front of it. Working on a new toy, just uh, recently acquired this uh, camper, trailer, you name it. And uh, trying to put on some extra accessories. It didn't come with the spare tire. I bought a spare tire, as you can see. And also it didn't come with a spare tire holder. So uh, in my local shop, I saw this spare tire holder, which they claimed as universal. And I installed it. And you can see there was about three or four inches only clearance between the bottom of the tire and the ground. So I returned it and I got a different model. Well, in the meantime, I figured out I need to carry the bikes also, so I need to add the bumper receiver. So this is the bumper receiver. It's made by Toesmart. It claims 3,500 pounds, 1,587 kilograms maximum, and 350 pounds max tongue weight. It says fits all four inch square RV bumpers, provides a two inch receiver, ideal for adding bike racks or rear cargo carriers, rust and corrosion resistance coating. All that is for 35 bucks. So this is the bumper and it also houses the drain pipe so you can remove this cover and the drain pipe is inside and as you can see it measures four inches by four inches so it should be a prime candidate for this receiver so let's unpack it and see if it fits so in the box is the receiver itself Okay, it's got these square openings on both sides. It has some specifications here. A bag of hardware. So it has two long bolts. And two lock nuts. No washer, nothing else in the box. There's no instruction manual. I guess they are trusting us that, you know, whoever buys it will be able to assemble it. I'm gonna clean the surface here, just a little bit. Looks like there was something on this. There are some spots here, some marks that shows some rusting. I think there was a component here previously that someone removed. This is the business end. So it is going in like that. And then it bolts in like so. I'm gonna measure the distance from the edge to the edge and make sure that it sits in the center. This is 39 and that's 37 and a half. So it has to go 0.75 that way. So 38 and a quarter, 38 and a quarter. So that's the center. So I was trying to put the bolts in from the other side from this side but there's no way they're gonna fit so bolts go bolts are going in from this end so what I'm gonna do next is add some tread locker this is Permatex blue uh, medium strength this is the one that can be removed in the future if needed so I'm just gonna douse 
the threads with it only where the threads are holding and then install the nuts like that and then I'm gonna go and promptly tighten up the nuts there's no torque spec in the unexistent a non-existent specification a user's manual so I'm just gonna go and tighten these up real well and then trust the thread locker to do the job and I'm gonna come back later and make sure that it it does not it does not um, the, the, the bolts didn't get loose but you can see it's still moving back and forth so I'm gonna need to double check the distance and make sure that it's right in the center so it was 38 and a quarter to the edge same on this side maybe a little bit to the right and I can tighten it up just got a second thought what if the receiver is on the top that will even give me more clearance see that so it drops the end to about three inches so right here it, it drops this height to about three inches when you're coming out of the gas station and this is still at the gas station and at the end you know there might not be much clearance so you can bump into this or bump into that but I think the stabilizers the stabilizers right there I think those stabilizers even if they up they're gonna hit the ground first yeah you can see the stabilizers are the low points but still there's a question what if Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now and I'm gonna proceed and install the bike carrier. <coughs> Okay, so the bike carrier is installed so now the next thing is putting this tire carrier on this is made by Stormberg Carson products INC and it says for use with travel trailer and fifth wheel spa spares heavy duty and simple construction fits four inch square bumpers fold down model available I bought the non fold down model um, includes parts and hardware to test tire to the carrier and carrier to the your four inch square bumper so let's see what's in the box they got the carrier itself and uh, looks like it's about five millimeter thick steel welded construction here also these plates are looks to be five millimeters thick there's a tongue here that's bent out from this and this will go on the top of the bumper and it's got instructions it's got an extra plate here and there's some hardware so first install the U-bolt and then install the carrier there's a lock washer 
I'm surprised they still produce these. Um, the U-bolts are 3 8 size. Some of these heavy duty carriers they come with half an inch but this is this is 3 8 the, the thread size. I'm just gonna mock it up for the time being and then go and install the wheel and after that find a position where there is no interference between the different components. So just like that, this bolt, this carriage bolt comes with a square at the root that will make that one so it's not going to rotate in a slot which is great and they also come with these washers spacers plates and the plate is going to go on it like so and it's going to prevent this from coming out so it will will make an assembly here's the bottom one so I think that's a that's a great feature. So you get the idea. That's how it mounts. And what I want to do is move it to the left so it does not cover the brake lights. And I think that's going to be a good position for the spare tire. Instruction manual says uh, verify cartoon contents, choose mounting location, be cautionary of mounting it in front of the license plate and or hatches that might need to be accessible on your trailer, mount the carrier, install hardware, mount spare tire. Um, snug tie blah 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 it doesn't it doesn't give any instructions as far as uh, tightening torque so we're just gonna go and do our best to tighten it up put some tread locker on the treads these are not self-locking nuts that's just a standard I think 3816 knot. One of the issues with these carriage bolts or U bolts is when they manufacture them, there's a die, and the die supports this material during the bending, and sometimes it creates a sharp imprint. So these will break over time just because the fatigue cycles they go through. They are holding up this weight and it is bouncing on the back and so it will fatigue here but thanks God these are accessible in any of the hardware stores. So if you're driving with your RV you might want to have a spare in the trunk and also when you're driving with your RV always have a nice set of wrenches and tools just in case you got stuck somewhere all these RVs are manufactured from cheap parts and unfortunately they break but if you have some of these spare parts available you can do a repair on the road so you can see you can see I tightened up uh, these nuts and this flange started to bend back a little bit so there's a solid clamp now metal is on metal and there's this hard coated plastic layer which is which is the paint itself in between so uh, just 
watch these nuts if you assemble something like this make sure they're not backing out um, same situation with these here just uh, make sure that you retighten them after one or two trips and they are not loose so as I mentioned this is a half an inch coarse thread not it's got the taper which is nice but the actual wheel lug nuts are half an inch in fine thread and their size is this one okay so it's 13 16 on the outside uh, hex size and then these guys I got a 19 millimeter here which fits so it's 19 millimeter or three quarters of an inch which means that every time you want to replace the spare tire you got to have both of these sizes available and if it's in the middle of the night in the desert and it's raining and you're exhausted sort of day of hiking uh, you got to remember to have these around because otherwise you'll not be able to replace uh, the wheel it's, uh, it's, it's, it's more than a minor inconvenience I think uh, these are you know the cheapest parts they cost pennies I can't imagine this can be more than five cents and this can be ten cents so the manufacturer could have included that easily but it didn't there's a plate that came in a kit so this plate goes on here like so and then you install the other nut and then you tighten both of them up so you can see the plate is bending So you can see, you can see I tighten it up a little bit and the plate is already bending. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tighten it up until I have solid stack between the plate and then the holder and then the nut. I know it's going to bend the plate, but I'd rather have solid stack here than relying on the springness of the plate to prevent this nut from coming off. Again, this is not a self-locking knot in any ways. So if you have some vibration, the last thing you want is to lose this during the trip. More because you're gonna have a cover over this and you won't even see if you lost that. There you go, one spare tire is installed. It sits there solid, it doesn't move. You can see there's not much clearance left so it just tacks up there's the carrier and then the wheel there's a little spacing about an inch spacing right there and then here on this side excuse me for the dirty bike i like when a bike is dirty so you can see it doesn't really fit in there's there's not much clearance the machine sleeps but the mind never does swapped out move from the right side to the left side because I got a lefty lefties are awesome you only have a fork on the left side of the bike if you look at from the front it's on the right side of the bike but if you sit on it it's on the left side so you can see now I got clearance here and I got clearance there I don't know how much I'm trying to move it close pushing it but it's not moving closer we'll see we'll come back from a 5,000 mile trip and we'll see if there's a spot or there is no spot but you can see it fits nicely I'm gonna put the cover on a spare tire just to make it complete and then it's done thanks for joining in today hope you guys enjoyed it 
If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.